All right, hey Taurus. So you guys, I am doing a 2-22-22 spiritual read. So this is those who feel energetically connected to a person that you are in separation with. All right, so we're going to see how things are, um, what's developing, the transformations, and where you guys are headed. So you're going to resonate with this energy, your energy on the left, your person's on the right, and the roles could be reversed uh, if you feel that the roles are reversed. All right, so with that being said, I'm going to jump right into it, you guys, and let's just see what comes through. So Taurus, your energy, what are you feeling? You guys coming through with religious factors. Okay, so you're, you could be feeling like you're going through some sort of a transformation um, on your own spiritual journey. It could be that you're kind of, um, you know, um, just developing. It could be too that you feel like um, religious factors, the spiritual journey or those aspects are playing a huge role, all right, in your guys' connection or disconnection. It could be that you guys feel like you're elevating um, and leaving somebody in the dust. It could be that you guys are just out of sync or out of alignment when it comes to the spiritual journey. And since this is a spiritual read, I'm going to call this um, card um, spiritual factors, all right? So I kind of feel like that's where you guys are sitting. I um, mean, it could be that you're acknowledging or have an, an, an awareness um, of of this dynamic now what i do want to say is if some of you guys are dealing with a scorpio that card came in that um this section right here so it could be that there's a butting of heads there's just an unsync of energy uh it could be too that those of you who are dealing with the scorpio need to check out that read um just as well so let's see what uh, your person is going through what their energy is all right you deserve love. So you are lovable. So your person over here, um, you know, as far as separation goes, it could be that this person is not feeling that pull from you. It could be too that they're kind of embodying their own strength when it comes to self-love. All right. And it could be too that they're just kind of in this um, dynamic of uh, learning through and going through um, a progression. This right here is the acknowledgement of love. And to me, it's about, um, it's the influence of self-love. I know my value. I know my worth. Okay. Especially if you guys have had disconnected, you could be dealing with somebody who lacked, um, esteem, lacked confidence, lacked love, and they're giving that back to themselves. Um, you deserve love. It kind of speaks for itself. All right. Somebody's going through a transformation, um, in, in that love department, the love dynamic. Okay. So that's what they're kind of feeling independently of you. So I'm going to pull, um, a chakra card and we're going to see how you can help this connection heal where there could be healing um, centered around this and where you guys are energetically connecting all right for taurus you guys have card three coming through with be fearless this is the base or root chakra and the sacral chakra all right so energetically speaking um where healing can be brought to is is the here the now the material world all right this is grounding this is kind of coming to terms with what's going on and the sacral ch uh, chakra to me is also divine masculine energy all right so with this right here you know be fearless is kind of speaking for itself it's like you know if you see something you want it it's time to jump okay um and this right here as far as uh you guys being energetic energetically connecting um, it could be that there's some um, misgivings. There's been some mishaps when it comes to you and this person. And um, Spirit's kind of saying it's time to ground yourself. Connect to this person. All right. Um, here in the material world, um, I do feel like it's supposed to manifest. Uh, but if you guys are not feeling grounded, if you're not feeling in the here and the now, um, it's not that you're going to miss the opportunity. But um, it's almost like you guys are in misalignment. And that Seiko Chaka... The sacral chakra coming through is, um, to me, the healing of the of, of the divine masculine energy. Whether it's you, whether it's this person, um, you know, and, and to me, it's it's speaking that the divine masculine energy um, through that sacral chakra could use um, a good healing dynamic. All right, so let's see where the transformations are happening with you and this person. So the current transformations going on um, that the universe and the spirit world is kind of um, helping you guys with that you might not be seeing for Taurus the current transformations for Taurus all right we got choose wisely you got stand your ground um you guys could be seeing a lot of sevens the base chakra coming through again the root chakra and victory and success coming through uh okay so here's what I'm gonna say 
with this energy. All right. Um, so transformations, um, choose wisely. This right here is like, you know, like the seven of cups. Um, it, it could be your energy. It could be the mutual energy. It could be this person's energy. You're going to have to see or take what resonates again. But um, if there's somebody that's coming through that feels imbalanced, that has a lot of um, other energies, um, a lot of people, it doesn't have to be options when it comes to romantic interest. It could just be um, the, the choosing over friendships, the, the choosing um, certain other elements to life. Um, it's like almost like there's a, an acknowledgement that's happening here, but um, everything else, um, is coming through kind of testing you. All right. And I feel like what the universe is saying is, Hey, we're giving you, we're giving you a great opportunity here. And, um, you know, as a universal test, we're going to see how you take that. How are you going to take that on? All right. Um, you have the seven of wands here coming through with stand your ground. This right here is basically saying there's going to be an acknowledgement. Um, you know, if you have somebody coming through very near and dear to your heart space, choosing wisely and standing your ground means that this person, um, either you or them or combined y'all think about each other all the time and it could be that we're just there there's a constant disconnection there's a constant missing the opportunity there's a constant misalignment all right and it's almost like we need to re recenter refocus reground ourselves um that base chakra um coming through again it could be too that there's like an overactive root chakra on your end or on this person's end where it's like we're kind of choosing more of the materialistic and the 3d aspects instead of one another um and that's where you guys are are, are, are constantly disconnect disconnecting so it's it's time to kind of pay attention all right um you you have um something coming through very very special here taurus you know for those who are here there's a very special opportunity coming through and whether it's your energy or this person's energy or um mutually it's time to ground yourself and really um kind of think about the the potential outcome of this investment which is um victory and success so i do feel like you guys you know um changes are being made it's it's like really choosing wisely um choosing wisely is coming through what do you want in the end all be all um, and you know, if it's this person that's kind of, uh, missing the opportunity here, you can help heal them through that base chakra. You can ground yourself and you can send them that divine masculine energy. All right. Um, but this right here is basically saying, um, what needs to happen through this connection will happen. Even if you don't vividly see a clear picture right now, you got to trust that the spirit world is, is helping you guys make changes that need to be made. All right. So let's see where you guys are heading where you guys are heading with this connection all right as the transformation and changes are being made um and you doing your part is simply a coming through it's it's regrounding yourself and focusing on the divine masculine aspect all right so where you guys are heading we have the knight of coins coming through the star card the devil and i'm going to keep that in reverse because i feel like that's the material world versus the spirit world the nine of wands also came through in reverse so where you guys are heading is the person who has fears all right this connection is definitely being healed um it's definitely being healed um the person who was here with the um ego on their shoulder the devil on their shoulder the wounds um where healing needed to take place you you guys are coming out of the devil energy and i'm going to say you guys as plural because i don't know if it's you or this person but the devil energy is definitely the fear-based energy the ego energy is being healed and that nine of wands in reverse is um, opening up it's being able to be vulnerable with one another all right the break um that you guys have had is is that that break was necessary um, to heal this negative energy. And then you got the this knight of coins is going to be indicative of a, a, a long journey. So you and this person have been connected for a long time. And now it's time for you guys to win. All right. Now it's time for you guys to um, it, it revel in this um, energy. The star card coming through with wishes, dreams, and hopes being fulfilled through this connection. It's being worked on. Y'all just need to keep trusting in this process. Okay. So uh, a lot of positive energy. The person who's coming through with um, scars and hurt, the person who's wounded, the person who um, perhaps doesn't feel like they deserve love, the person who's coming through, you know, um, again, I don't know if it's you or this person, but what I'm going to say is that the ego body is being healed through this dynamic and that's where you guys are going to see favor. All right. So let's see what messages come through for Taurus. What messages come through? 
All right, so you guys have this energy right here. And it says only time will tell. All right, and that could be whoever's kind of faced with that third dimensional aspect. You got this energy coming through with if I if you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not your mind. Do you guys see how that energy was working together? Um, for the heart is the gateway to the soul. Um, it's time to make yourselves happy. It's time to draw in your own happiness. You know, um, especially if you have outside influences or this person has outside influences, you guys can help heal the spiritual connection. All right. Through um, whatever it is, that's kind of preventing you guys from um, coming back stronger than ever. All right. You guys, you are you are loved more than you consciously know. Share your insecurities with the one you love. You will be surprised and reassured by their reaction. Love is all around you. That could be your message um, or this person's energy. So keep that in mind. Close your eyes and feel your spiritual connection to everything on this planet. Every person, animal, tree, and flower. Feel the ocean, the wind, the sky all in perfect harmony. Moved by the one eternal flow of love. And if you think about this... This is grounding. You guys had a lot of energy come through the base and root chakra. Um, it's 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 time to be more connected and it, it connected in an energetically spiritual way. My love is like an ocean forever longing for your shore. You are an eternal ocean of love. I close my eyes and my heart is filled with rose quartz light. All right, Taurus, I'm leaving it there. You guys take care.